Hey guys, it's Becky. I just wanted to talk to you about basil real quick and how to get more out of your basil plant. So I didn't grow this from seed. This is actually from Bonnie Plants. This is sweet basil, so really easy. You just um, pick it up at any store that sells plants. They usually have sweet basil, which is very popular. This sweet basil I transplanted in just normal potting soil. And I now going to trim it. I did trim some already. And I just thought, well, maybe I should just show you how I trimmed it. So a good way to know where to trim basil is to look at the leaves. Now, you don't want to trim off the plant because it needs leaves for photosynthesis to grow. But a good way to know where, for this example right here, this stem here is the main stem of this basil plant. And where you see the main stem go up, there's two corner leaves, or these have four leaves, growing on the side. And right above those is where you would pinch off or cut off the plant so it can grow more into more bushier. So this was from the store, so obviously no one was cutting it, so it was just growing up straight. As you see, they're very length lengthy. So that's why I'm cutting it so it can bush out and take over this pot. So we're gonna go ahead and trim right where I pointed out, right between those leaves. So you can just pinch it off with your finger or you can just use scissors. Like these are from like the dollar store. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you right where I said to pinch off. So it's, that's the leaf. I'm gonna put my scissors right above those two leaves and cut off. And there you go. So now these two are gonna branch out and create more basil leaves and it just keeps going and going. And if you do that, I'll never go to seed. Um, but no, that's okay too, you can uh, chop off anything that you don't want on there, like flowers. It's actually really good for the bees, so if you want, you can just leave them for, for them. But yeah, so the, I really cut off a lot of these. As you see, I cut off this one right here in the middle because they had two side leaves and these leaves. So you want to make sure they have a good amount of leaves so that it can continue to grow. So yeah, a little bit more about the basil. It's definitely cold sensitive. Any temperatures below 50 will damage it. Uh, you can harvest, if you do grow by seed, within four to five weeks usually. And you can plant them in two to three week intervals. So you can just get basil all year long. So this is a sweet basil, which is very popular and, and smells so great and just good in many, many dishes. And um, other than that, I mean, basil is pretty easy to care for. The problems are very minimal. It's usually trouble free when it comes to insects. So basil needs full sun, at least six to eight hours of full sun to grow successfully with well-drained soil as well and plenty of water. And, for, and if you wanna fertilize it every two to three weeks, um, you can. And so just remember to remove any flower buds as they appear. Your basil can be looking lush and green. And so yeah, pretty easy, very, a very good plant to grow if, if you've never gardened before or have minimal experience growing anything. So there you go, a little short about basil. And I'm just gonna go ahead and first serve these. Basil, smells so good. And that is the sweet basil.